Hey there, how's it going? It's me, Commandant Franz. And surely you guys have all heard of AD, BC, CE, and BCE. For instance, you could say that Julius Caesar was assassinated in 44 BC or 44 BCE. Or you could say that the Normans took England in AD 1066 or 1066 CE. So these mean the same thing, CE and AD and BCE and BC, but they're different methods of naming dates. Anno Domini, of course, is AD, whereas the Common Era is CE. BCE is before the Common Era, and BC is before Christ. CE and BCE developed as secular ways of naming dates to replace the old AD and BC, which of course are the year of our Lord and before Christ. I'm an atheist. So why don't I like BCE and CE? Well, I'll tell you. It's because they're made up constructs. There is no common era that began at the year zero. We only call it the common era because it's the year zero. Whereas in the other system, AD and BC, there is a significance to the date. That being, of course, the birth of Christ. But Franz, Jesus wasn't born in the year zero. In fact, there's very little evidence to show that he even existed at all. Well, yes, but that's still the reason the dates are significant. Even if this event didn't actually happen, these dates are significant because this is when this event was supposed to happen. You can call it the year of our supposed Lord or the year of our non-existent Lord if you want to sound like an asshole, but to call it BCE or CE is stupid because it's meaningless and it's only based off of the original system, but it pretends to be something different. By the way, why is New Year's Day separate from Christmas? We count years since Jesus' supposed birth and yeah, I know, I know. Jesus wasn't born on Christmas, he was born in the springtime. I don't care. Jesus was supposed to have been born on Christmas. So since we count years since his birth, why don't we count days of the year since his birth? Seems like that would make more sense. YouTube statistics show that only a percentage of my viewers are subscribed. My mathematical knowledge shows that that percentage is small. Subscribe. Well, goodbye. I'll see you guys next time.